Reflection Part Two: Critical Angle and Total Internal Reflection from glass into air. It bends away from normal. What does that mean? You can see that the incident angle is smaller than the refracted angle, which is in air. The refracted wave bends away from normal. When the incident angle keep on increasing like this, you will see the refracted ray finally travels along the interface, and at that time, the refracted ray suddenly disappear. All the light ray is simply reflected. If you further increase the incident angle, then all the light ray is simply reflected. And there's no refracted ray anymore. So all it starts with when light ray travels from glass to air, it bends away from normal. When the incident angle keep on increasing, the refracted angle will also keep on increasing, and finally becomes 90 degrees. At that time, the refracted ray travels along the interface. We call the incident angle at that time critical angle. You may also notice that that the reflected ray becomes very bright, very strong. All the light is reflected, and so we call it total internal reflection. It is indeed not too difficult to find the critical angle of glass. Let me show you how to do this. Let's take a look. Of the diagram in the middle. By Snell's law, we may set up the equation: the refractive index of glass equals sine the angle in air over sine the angle in glass. And so we may have this result.